shapes. MS Word 2010 comes with a set of ready-made shapes that you can use in your document. You can resize, rotate, flip, color and combine the shapes with other shapes to make more complex shapes. The shapes command on the insert tab contains several categories of shapes including lines, basic shapes, flowchart, stars and banners and callouts. To draw a shape from the shapes command, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on insert tab. Step 2. Click on shapes command in the illustrations group. The drop-down menu of Shapes command opens where you can see a list of categories of shapes which you can insert. Step 3. Select any shape from the available categories of shapes. Step 4. Click and drag the mouse pointer in the document area to draw the selected shape. Release the mouse button when the selected shape is of the desired size. MS Word allows you to write text inside a shape. To do so, follow these steps. Step 1. Right-click inside the shape and select the Add Text option from the pop-up menu. The cursor will appear inside the shape. Step 2. Type the text and then click anywhere on the screen outside the shape. The text appears in the shape. Formatting Shapes MS Word 2010 allows you to format shapes by changing outline color and fill color of the shapes. It also allows you to add different types of shape effects such as 3D and bevel. Let us learn about these in detail. Changing outline color of a shape. To change the color of the outline around a shape, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the shape to select it and click on the Format tab. Step 2. Click on the Shape Outline command in the Shape Styles group. A drop-down menu with different color themes appear. Step 3. Choose and click on a color of the outline from the drop-down menu. The shape will appear in the selected outline color. Changing the fill color of a shape. To change the fill color of the shape, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the shape to select it and click on the Format tab. Step 2. Click on the Shape Fill command in the Shape Styles group to display a drop-down menu. Step 3. Now choose the color, picture, gradient or texture to be filled into the shape from the drop-down menu. Adding Shape Effects MS Word 2010 provides various types of shape effects to change the look of a shape such as preset, shadow, reflection, glow, soft edges, bevel and 3D rotation. Let us learn how to add 3D effects. Adding 3D Effects There are two kinds of 3D effects in MS Word 2010 that can be applied on the shapes to give them a 3D appearance. 3D Rotation To apply 3D rotation effect, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the shape and click on Format tab. Step 2. From the Shape Styles group, click on Shape Effects command. A drop-down menu appears. Step 3. Place the mouse over 3D rotation option from the menu. A sub-menu appears. Step 4. From the sub-menu, select the desired rotation effect. Bevel. Bevel adds thickness and rounded edges to shapes. To apply bevel effect, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the shape. Step 2. Click on Format tab. Step 3. From the Shape Styles group, click on Shape Effects command. Step 4. Place the mouse over Bevel option. A sub-menu appears. Step 5. From the sub-menu, select the desired Bevel effect. The 
drop down menu of shapes command opens where you can see a list of categories of shapes which you can insert step 3 select any shape from the available categories of shapes step 4 click and drag the mouse pointer in the document area to draw the selected shape release the mouse button when the selected shape is of the desired size MS Word allows you to write text inside a shape. To do so, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click inside the shape and select the Add Text option from the pop-up menu. The cursor will appear inside the shape. Step 2. Type the text and then click anywhere on the screen outside the shape. The text appears in the shape. Formatting Shapes MS Word 2010 allows you to format shapes by changing outline color and fill color of the shapes. It also allows you to add different types of shape effects such as 3D and Bevel. Let us learn about these in detail. Changing Outline Color of a Shape To change the color of the outline around a shape, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the shape to select it and click on the Format tab. Step 2. Click on the Shape Outline command in the Shape Styles group. A drop-down menu with different color themes appear. Step 3. Choose and click on a color of the outline from the drop-down menu. The shape will appear in the selected outline color. Changing the fill color of a shape. To change the fill color of the shape, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the shape to select it and click on the Format tab. Step 2. Click on the Shape Fill command in the Shape Styles group to display a drop-down menu. Step 3. Now choose the color, picture, gradient or texture to be filled into the shape from the drop-down menu. Adding Shape Effects MS Word 2010 provides various types of shape effects to change the look of a shape such as preset, shadow, reflection, glow, soft edges, bevel and 3D rotation. Let us learn how to add 3D effects. Adding 3D Effects there are two kinds of 3D effects in MS Word 2010 that can be applied on the shapes to give them a 3D appearance. 3D Rotation To apply 3D Rotation effect, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the shape and click on Format tab. Step 2. From the Shape Styles group, click on Shape Effects command. A drop-down menu appears. Step 3. Place the mouse over 3D rotation option from the menu. A sub-menu appears. Step 4. From the sub-menu, select the desired rotation effect. Bevel. Bevel adds thickness and rounded edges to shapes. To apply bevel effect, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the shape. Step 2. Click on Format tab. Step 3. From the Shape Styles group, click on Shape Effects command. Step 4. Place the mouse over bevel option. A sub-menu appears. Step 5. From the sub-menu, select the desired bevel effect. Inserting Word Art Word Art allows you to create text effects that are not possible through text formatting. To apply Word Art effect to text, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the text to be converted to a Word Art style. Click on Insert tab. Step 2. Click on Word Art command in the text group. 
a drop down menu appears with different types of word art styles step 3 select the desired style a text box will appear in the document step 4 enter text in the text box after entering the text click anywhere on the document outside the text box the text entered appears in the selected word art style inserting pictures let us see how we can add clip art and pictures in our document inserting word art word art allows you to create text effects that are not possible through text formatting to apply word art effect to text follow these steps step 1 Select the text to be converted to a word art style. Click on insert tab. Step 2, click on word art command in the text group. A drop down menu appears with different types of word art styles. Step 3, select the desired style. A text box will appear in the document. Step 4, enter text in the text box. After entering the text, click anywhere on the document outside the text box. The text entered appears in the selected word art style. Inserting pictures Let us see how we can add clip art and pictures in our document. Inserting clip art. MS Word 2010 comes with its own set of pre-designed pictures in the clip art gallery. The clip art gallery includes a wide variety of pictures that makes it easy for you to enhance your document with professionally designed images. To insert clip art, follow these steps. Step 1 Click on the insert tab. Step 2, click on the clip art command in the illustrations group. A clip art pane appears on the right side of the MS Word window. Step 3. In the search for box, type the desired keyboard related to the image that you wish to insert. The images that match the search keyword appear in the clip art pane. Step 4. Click on the image that you wish to insert. It will be inserted in your document. Inserting a picture from a file. You can also insert a saved picture or a scanned photo in your document. To do so, follow these steps. Step 1. Place the cursor where you want to insert the picture. Click on Insert tab. Step 2. In the illustrations group, click on the picture command. The insert picture dialog box appears. Step 3. Select the desired picture and then click on insert button. The selected picture will insert it in your document. Inserting clip art. MS Word 2010 comes with its own set of pre-designed pictures in the clip art gallery. The clip art gallery includes a wide variety of pictures that makes it easy for you to enhance your document with professionally designed images. To insert clip art, follow these steps. Step one: Click on the Insert tab. Step 2 click on the clip art command in the illustrations group a clip art pane appears on the right side of the ms word window step 3 in the search for box type the desired keyboard related to the image that you wish to insert the images that match the search keyword appear in the clip art pane step 4 Click on the image that you wish to insert. 
it will be inserted in your document inserting a picture from a file you can also insert a saved picture or a scanned photo in your document to do so follow these steps step 1 place the cursor where you want to insert the picture click on insert tab step 2 in the illustrations group click on the picture command the insert picture dialog box appears step 3 select the desired picture and then click on insert button the selected picture will insert it in your document inserting symbols symbols are punctuations or special characters generally not found on the keyboard to add symbols in your document follow these steps step 1 click on insert tab step 2 click on the symbol command in the symbols group under the home tab a drop down menu containing different symbols appear step 3 click on any symbol you want to insert step 4 to view more symbols click on more symbols option from drop down menu to open the symbol dialog box step 5 select the symbol or character you want to insert step 6 click on insert button to insert the symbol into the document click on close button to exit inserting symbols symbols are punctuations or special characters generally not found on the keyboard to add symbols in your document follow these steps step 1 click on insert tab step 2 click on the symbol command in the symbols group under the home tab a drop down menu containing different symbols appear step 3 click on any symbol you want to insert step 4 to view more symbols click on more symbols option from drop down menu to open the symbol dialog box step 5 select the symbol or character you want to insert step 6 click on insert button to insert the symbol into the document click on close button to exit reboot There are three basic types of graphics in MS Word 2010: shapes, word art, and pictures. The shapes menu contains several categories of shapes, including flowcharts, stars and banners, and callouts, etc. MS Word 2010. provides various types of shape effects to change the look of a shape such as preset shadow reflection glow soft edges bevel and 3d rotation word art allows you to create text effects that are not possible through text formatting the clip art gallery includes a wide variety of pictures that makes it easy to enhance your document with professionally designed images symbols are punctuations or special characters generally not found on the keyboard